All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are Real Time. Today, we got another movie for our 25 days of movies. Today, we are watching Whiplash. Uh, this has been a movie that has been on polls and stuff uh, a whole bunch on our Patreon. I feel like it's been a, one of those movies we just never uh, got around to watching. It's never one, but now we're picking movies to watch. This is definitely one of them we've been wanting to, so we're finally getting around to it. I haven't seen it. Um, I know I've seen a picture or I've seen the cast before, but I honestly forget most of them. I'm pretty sure I know Miles Teller is in it and you said J.K. Simmons as well, but honestly, I forget the rest. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty stacked cast, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm looking forward to kind of remembering or seeing who's in this movie. I know it's about music as well, so I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really, really good movie. I'm pretty sure it's on our top 100 movies poster, right? So another one we can scratch off. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I've never seen this movie before. Uh, never really heard anything about it. I know that it's about music, but I just found that out like five minutes ago. I'm super pumped to watch it, though. Um, I do like Miles Teller a lot. Uh, was he Fantastic Four? Yeah, he was in the really bad Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> well, regardless, he's one of the better actors I've seen, so I'm excited to watch him and watch this movie. I have seen this movie. I've only ever seen it one time, and it was only a couple years ago. I was pretty late to watching this movie, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's honestly very high up on my list of favorite movies. J.K. Simmons, absolutely insane in this movie. He won the Oscar for his role. And Miles Teller, also just incredible acting. Uh, Zuff brought up the Fantastic Four. I had honestly not really seen much of Miles Teller in anything until I saw this movie. Um, I probably had only seen him in the Fantastic Four and a couple other things. Um, Project X. Yeah, Project X. But th this is the movie that I watched and I was like, oh my God, this kid is like one of the best actors i've ever seen like he is very very good and i'm excited for you guys to watch this i, I know that we're gonna love it and uh yeah it's been a long time coming i'm ready to get into it all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this movie if you guys have been enjoying our movie reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description the first one's our patreon we have the early access to the rest of these 25 days of movies up on there as well as the full, full watch alongs to all these movies second link's the discord come join that talk to us about all these movies we got our second channel a talk as well all of our social media is in the address to our p.o box but yeah, let's get into it. Whiplash. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, stay. <laughs> All right, they're already here. Both of them. You know who I am? Yes, sir. Then why did you stop playing? <laughs> did I ask you to start playing again? You stopped playing, and your version of an answer was to turn into a wind-up monkey. Jeez, dude. Very polite, man. Jeez. He's jacked in this, bro. Double-time swing. Faster! Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Did not stay to listen. Oopsie daisy Forgot my jacket. What an intimidating man. Is he in college? Yeah. He goes to like some music school, I believe. I think they're in Chicago, if I had to take a guess. Really? I thought in New York. I'm not sure. Oh shit. Is he talking shit? Yeah, he that's he's yeah. in. Are they sharing the drums? Or is he just sitting he, there? He's like the understudy. Basically like the backup drummer. Do you miss? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you have <laughs> Do most drummers hold their uh one stick like that? I think it just depends on what style of music you're playing. Oh. That was Fletcher. And in in this movie, I think they mostly play jazz. And yeah, I guess they do. All right, all right. That's enough of that. Just back to the core drums, please. What have you been practicing? Oh, Jesus. He's Fletcher just makes an entrance. Busted those doors down. 
Everyone goes silent when the man walks in the room. Down the line, trumpets, bar seven and eight. Three, four. Like this is when, like you're like, I don't know, working at a restaurant and you have like a, a chef, but then like the head chef that rarely comes back, mm -hmm. just comes and checks if everything's in line. It's like Gordon Ramsay walks into your restaurant. Pretty much. Well, you're in the first chair. Let's see if it's just because you're cute. Three, four. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he is ruthless. Behind. Same thing. Come on. Face. Five bars of Donna Lee. You get like one second to impress him. <laughs> Drums with me. Thank you, Joe. No, no, no. Other drums. Ooh. Mm. Nyman. Where's that asshole that was talking shit when <laughs> that kid walked in? <laughs> oh my gosh. Room B16 tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Don't be late. Like, if I heard all those, I wouldn't have been able to pick a standout, honestly. Like, I didn't think his sounded much better than the other kid. But that's we, his ear. Yeah, I have no idea what he was even listening for. If that man told me to be there at 6 a.m., I'd be there at 5, <laughs> an hour early. I see you in here a lot, and I think that you're really pretty, and would you want to go out with me? Ever? Shoot your shot, brother. Please go away. Damn. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just messing with you. Oh, <laughs> I would have folded, bro. Oh I would have dug oh in the ground. You look so serious. That's actually pretty mean. I'm sorry. Good acting. What's your name? Seven o'clock? Mm-hmm. Here. 7 p.m. My thing. Alright. Let's go. They got me cheesing. He's having a good day. You got that boost from... Uh... Butcher? Yeah. No way he's already late. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be like ten minutes late. Woke up at six oh three. Jeez. Now he's concussed. Already left. What if he never came? He's been here three hours. Did you see what the sign said? Studio band. It doesn't start till 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been here for three hours. Yeah. Just told him to be here at six. Ah, oh, he screwed it up. I used to drum, I can tell. <laughs> I did have a drum set when I was younger and I just banged that shit. No rhythm. Jeez. 9 a.m. exactly. No one's even looking at yeah, him. Yeah, they don't even make eye contact. We got a squeaker today, people. Neiman, 19 years old. Isn't he cute? All right, gang. Whiplash. Ooh. Love when they drop a name. I feel like they're like trained dogs. Just ready to go. I like, these are the best of the best. Well, Neiman's a first year. These guys are probably like a lot older. I'm pretty sure how like music schools work, there's like a first band. And then several other like bands underneath that are trying to work up to the first band. And this is the first band. Parker, that is not your boyfriend's dick. Do not come early. Bar 93. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like, I couldn't pick out one person's instrument. Be like, you're the problem. Well, that's why I'm not this Fletcher, like a <laughs> I'd be like, guys, nailed it. Sounds yeah. great. <laughs> no notes. <laughs> Perfect. Now this one really upset 
that's me. We have an out of tune player here. Oh, he screwed it up. Before I continue, would that player care to identify himself? Tell me it's not the drummer. Five, six, and. He's here. Didn't like the show one dude have like water or something? Some liquid come out of his? I mean, that was it? Tell me it's not you, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> God, dude, he's a bully. Not the personal attack. Do you think you're out of tune? What are you, there's no fucking Mars bar down there. What are you looking at? Damn. Look up here. Look at me. He's an asshole. Do you think you're out of tune? That I wouldn't be able to talk to someone like this. Yes. Then why the fuck didn't you say so? Carried your fat ass for too long, Mets. I'm not gonna have you cost us a competition because your mind's on a fucking happy meal instead of on pitch. It's rude for no reason. <laughs> Get the fuck out! He's crying. Dude, I would have been crying way before he started screaming. For the record, Mets wasn't out of tune. You were, Erickson. What? But he didn't know. And that's bad enough. Oh my god. Crazy. He's crazy, bro. What about your mother? What does she do? I don't know. She left when I was a baby. So no musicians in the family. You know, Charlie Parker became Bird because Jones threw a symbol at his head. The key is to just relax. What do you mean relax, bro? You just fucking were making fun of some dude for being fat and kicked him out <laughs> for no reason. I'm here for a reason. I feel like he, once the music he starts playing in there, he's gonna grill the shit out of him. Alright, man. Have fun. Have fun, man. No, it's not gonna be fun. That was just all sarcasm. Not rainbows and sunshine here, bro. Now he thinks he's gonna not be mean to him. A little under tempo, okay? Neiman, just do your best. <laughs> Have fun, Neiman. Two seconds. What the fuck, Neiman? <laughs> How's he doing? Sounds good to me, man. I think he sounds pretty good. Got buddy Rich here. I don't know, understand what's going on. A little trouble there. Pick it up at 17. Not, not quite my tempo. He's just singled out. Uh. Downbeat on 18. Okay. Correction after correction. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Five, six, and. Dragging just a hair. Oh, I'd be so pissed off. He was rushing. Now he's dragging. He was perfect a minute before. Rushing. All right, he finally let him play. I was getting so annoyed with the hand in the air. <laughs> Why'd you stop playing, bro? What'd he throw at his head? Was a it the, the thing he was just talking about, that story? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was uh, a chair. I thought it was a symbol. I, I don't know. Sure you do. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. Oh my... Oh! <laughs> Six, seven, In four, five. damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No. I mean, that's just not allowed. No, no. It's a different style of teaching. Count again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. one, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference? Or are you going to be on my fucking time? I'm going to be on your time. One, two, three, four. Jesus one, two, three. fucking Christ. I didn't know they allowed retards into shape. Jeez. I feel like he's just yelling at me, bro. I, oh my God. <laughs> Sight read measure 101. Are you in a fucking acapella group? Play the goddamn <laughs> <laughs> Now answer my question. Were you rushing or were you dragging? Answer! Rushing. 
Oh. Are you upset? Yes or fucking no? Yes, you are upset. Yeah. Say it. I'm upset. Say it so the whole band can hear you. Dude, this is like public humiliation what he does. I'm upset! You are a worthless, friendless, lit little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he wasn't Eugene O'Neill. Dude! Weeping and slobbering all over my drum set. Bringing up all this personal shit? He just learned? Fucking time! Say it louder! I'm upset! Carl. Start practicing harder, Neiman. <laughs> I mean, what is this? Is like the military. That scene is fucking wild. <laughs> just have fun, man. Just get in there and have fun. It'll be awesome. And he was crying. I mean, you just cannot feel good after that. I don't know if you can ever feel good ever again after that. Just grinding away. Practice makes perfect. I would have quit. I would have 100% quit. I would have seen him yell at that one dude and make fun of him for being fat and that would have been like maybe this place isn't for me but as mean as he is he like that's the top of the pyramid like if you want to be the best you gotta i don't know if it's worth it yet yeah i don't want to be hit <laughs> like i don't yeah, want to like, just yeah. be smacked over and over again uh -uh. Uh -uh. no way bring my family like trauma into it as well for everyone to hear not the move ow bro He's literally got blisters on his fucking hands from just playing so much. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Just running through bandages. Dude, it looks like it hurts so bad. Ugh. Oh. Day with uh, Nicole. He's probably not in too good of a mood anymore. I mean, the food's good too, but. He's gonna like watch him transform to a different person. What do you do? I go to Fordham. What do you study? I don't have a major yet. So Fordham was just like a random school? No, I applied to a bunch of schools and Fordham let me in. Why'd you pick Schaefer? It's the best music school in the country. All right, weird vibes on the first date. He wasn't helping himself. Uh uh. It's what? It was just like a random school? Like what? I still go to the movies with my dad. <laughs> what a recovery by... by Andrew. Who wants to kiss him? You can tell, Rob. I can tell, Rob. <laughs> tell him. <laughs> I like how the, like just the energy between those two, and then just go on to a different planet in a different universe between the energy and him and Fletcher. When you're a big college kid, will you come play in my band? You don't want to do that. Be my piano player. Excellent. Give me five, baby. All right. Hey, great to see great you. Great see you. Have this He's literally like a like a intense sports coach. Gives yeah. his team shit, but he can be like <laughs> nice to other people. Maybe he has some sort of like, uh, like disease. What, what do you mean? Like he's being a bit bipolar. Like how he was so nice and then just so mean. I think it's just the difference between his career and being a human to other people. He's not going to yell at a little girl. This is like probably the most important shit in his life. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God. I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Jesus. Was that the other the guy who got kicked out? No, I think it's just some random guy. All right, this is the real deal this time. This is not practice. No more cutting it off. I love the the noise from that big guitar. Was it cello? Yeah, the upright bass. You know, after La La Land and this, I just kind of want to go to a jazz show. I want to go see some, some jazz. Mm. He's leaving it around. 
need to look at the music. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Mm. Why isn't it on you? Where's the folder? He's not going to be able to play it, but my Andrew remembers it. A janitor? Yeah. Find the fucking folder! A fucking janitor! You're a dumb fuck! A dumb fuck! Uh, Neiman, the folder, and Neiman lost it. Neiman lost it. Yes. The folder is your fucking Damn. Right? You give a calculator to a fucking retard, he's going to try to turn on a TV with it. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, I can't. He doesn't have it memorized. I, I can't go on stage. I don't know the charts uh, by heart. A medical condition, condition where you fucking Sanjay Gupta play the goddamn music. Dude just does not I, want excuses. Oh, Andrew. Andrew remembers. And I hope you played a whole lot better than you did last month in rehearsal. Because I do not intend to start losing now. <laughs> he just fucked over Tanner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unintentionally just fucked him over. Hey, dude, I mean... Honestly, if, if if he didn't know it by heart, that's kind of his fault. <laughs> Sounds good to me. But what's that mean? If we were in practice, probably would have hit him with the... <laughs> Rushing or dragging? Which fucking one is it? <laughs> okay, okay. Sounds good, bro. Neiman's killing it. Grass. Get him on the. Get him up there. First chair. Yeah, have Tanner sit back there. Little shit. We won. Let's go. I can see him being like, it wasn't good enough, though. <laughs> He's gonna kick Tanner off, I have a feeling. Hey. Don't fucking touch my fault, man. <laughs> Do not touch this kid. <laughs> Tanner, what are you doing? It's core only today. I don't have time for alternates. Oh! <laughs> Tanner, the alternate. What a way to tell him that he's not the core. Tanner, are you a fucking statue? Let's go. Get off the stool. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It's funny when it's not happening to Neiman. Or, it's kind of funny when that happens to people that deserve it. Yeah, like when he was so mean. <laughs> that, that that poor chubby kid did not deserve it. No, so. no, no. Dude just studies the legends. I need to see another little date. Oh, oh whoa. whoa. Timing. Spoken into existence. What a crazy, like, text message interface. It just looked <laughs> insane. Call me when you're back and I'll come over. When's the last time you guys got a text like that? Never. <laughs> so how's the drumming going, Andy? Oh, uh, yeah, it's going uh, really well. I'm, I'm the new core drummer. So. Oh. Hey. We know him. Oh, yeah, it's Tom Brady. No, it's not. No. Travis. Dustin is heading up Model UN, soon to be Rhodes Scholar. Is this the whole fam? I think it's like multiple families. Cousins. Like like step bros and stuff? No, no, no. Like cousins, <laughs> like I said. I found out I'm the youngest person in the entire band. How do you, how do you know wins in a music competition? Isn't it subjective? No. I scored a 93 year I touched School record, school record, school record. It's Division 3. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on. Carl in football is not even Division 2, it's Division 3. All right. I mean, that's not shots. cool. That's not cool. It's not cool, but they're definitely. It sounds like they don't give a fuck about what he has to say. Mm. Charlie Parker didn't know anybody until Joe Jones threw a symbol at his head. So that's your idea of success? Huh? Dying broke and drunk and full of heroin at the age of 34 is not exactly my idea of success. You think Carlton football is a joke? Come play with us. <laughs> you will never hear from the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You think the Packers suck? Come play with us. Holy no. shit. It's not a walk on. I do feel like though, part of that is like Fletcher rubbing oh, off yeah. on him, a hundred percent. Which is why Tanner was such an asshole to him, and all, everyone's an, kind of an asshole to the new guys. I mean, you're surrounded by it. You're gonna you're gonna act like it. As fate would have it, I recently stumbled across another kid. Uh oh. In the practice room working on his double time swing. So I'm gonna give him a shot. Am I late? Uh. Perfect timing. Is that the guy that he it's, was? This is the kid from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Each other, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and I saw that. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Now, no way. I gave Conley the chart this morning. All I want to do now is just uh, give you both a crack at it. All right. So Neiman, go ahead. I see what you're doing, man. From the top. I He's mean, had it the whole day, and Andrew's just seeing it now for the first time. Not quite my tempo. Conley? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Conley? I can take it right back from the top. I can do it. Nope. We'll go with Conley now. I wonder if the guy that's been practicing it is going to be better. Perfect, Conley. <laughs> Perfect. You walk in here an alternate, who knows when you could be the new core. Oh my god, you, are you serious? Hey. That shit? Oh. Fletcher. Thanks, sir. Here you go. He just lost his job. Yeah, he's more bark than bite. You have no clue, bro. I can play these charts. I'm not, why are you no, doing that? not the time, I swear to god. I can play it, okay? I said not now! If you want the fucking part, earn it. I think he just got some bad news or something. I'm just gonna lay it out there. This is why I don't think that we should be together. What? Because I'm doing that, it's gonna take up more and more of my time, and I'm not gonna be able to spend as much time with you. I'm just gonna start to resent you for even asking me to stop drumming. And we're just gonna start to hate each other. Jeez. I wanna be one of the greats. And I would stop you from doing that? Yeah. Rough. You treat me like shit because I'm just some girl who doesn't know what she wants, and you have a path, and you're going to be great, and I'm going to be forgotten, and therefore you won't be able to give me the time of day because you have bigger things to pursue. That's exactly my point. Dude, you're shallow as fuck. You're right, we should not be dating. Terrible attitude. Uh. Ooh. Bro, you just fucked up your kit. Ah. Uh, he's putting himself through f so much. Yeah. What it takes. Yeah, I mean, you gotta respect it a little bit, at least. No. <laughs> <laughs> this not guy. Only. He just does not look like a drummer. Six years ago. Came across a kid in a practice room working on his scales. And when he graduated, Marsalis made him third trumpet at Lincoln Center. That's who you're listening to now. His name was Sean Casey. Was. I think that's the phone call he got. Sean died yesterday in a car accident. And I wanted you guys to know he was a beautiful player. I just thought you should know. It's crazy seeing him get emotional like that. Yeah. He, like, he cares so much. He's just gonna start grilling now. Yep. It's not, not quite right, Conley. <laughs> That's not quite my tempo, Conley. One and two and... Nope, I guess not. Tanner? No, back and forth. Get your ass back on the kit. <laughs> I'd be so nervous to start. For as long as it takes until one of you can play in time. <laughs> Looks like that might be all night. Neiman? Being one of the other, like, just a fucking trumpet player. Fucking <laughs> having to watch all this. Just being like, thank God I don't play the fucking drums. Everybody just has to wait out there, bro. Is that really the fastest you can play, you worthless Jaime fuck? No wonder mommy ran out on you. Get Dude. Out kid. Just no reason to bring that shit up. Mr. Gay Pride of the Upper West Side himself. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not a Bette Midler concert. We will not be serving Cosmopolitans in Baked Alaska, so just play faster than you give fucking hand jobs, will you please? Whoever whoever wrote all of his insults just did such a good job. This guy just talks the best shit I've ever heard. Such a fucking mean dude. 
What's he even doing, bro? <laughs> He's just smacking that shit. There's no pot of gold down there. Re re adjusting the seat, really? That's been your fucking problem the whole time. The seat height. Oh, come on, Andrew. It's your turn, Andrew. Maybe he's just conditioning them. Don't slow down. Pick it up. Faster! Look at him. Don't let it, fu don't let it affect you. There we go. It's impossible. Like, how can you work like this? Dude, he threw one of them all away. Keep going. Keep going, Andrew. Oh my, dude, you see his hand? Yep. Uh, there's just blood all over the drums. How long could you do this for? Thank God. <laughs> After all of that, bro. You want to clean the blood off my drum set? Okay, we can start now. Now we're starting. What time? Two, almost two in the morning. Damn. Rehearsal was like at nine, I think, right? Something like that, yeah. That was so cool that all the blood was getting everywhere. Competition day. No. Open. You're still open. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what did he forget? The the music. The sheets. Forgot something. Where the fuck are you, man? Call time was five. I know, I know. I'm almost there. I'm almost there, man. I'm right there. Conley's playing the part. Yeah, like fucking hell he's playing my part. What the fuck did you just say? Oh. It's my part. It's my part, and I decide who to lend it to. Usually it's somebody that has fucking sticks. Oh, that's what he left. Neiman, you lost the fucking part. No, I get it. Look, you can't fucking do this, Karen. Can't? Yeah. The only reason you're a fucking core is because you misplaced a folder. I'm in studio, man, because I'm the... Hey, why don't you just back hey, off, bro? fuck off, Johnny Utah. Turn my pages, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's my part. I'll be on your stage. Let's go. You got 10 minutes, you fucking pathetic pansy ass fruit fuck. <laughs> oh my god. He has, he's good at coming up with things to say. Okay, look, why don't you just tell Fletcher that I'm coming, you motherfucker? Oh god. That's not good. Oh, car accident. <clears throat> no. For some reason, I still think he's gonna go. I mean, maybe not. That was like a semi, bro. He just got fucking yeah. T-boned in his rental. He's all right. Insane that he can just get up and walk like that. I gotta get my stick. No, 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 stay away from the car. Dude. Holy shit. He wants to go. What time does he have to be there by? I think he might be late. It's like past 5.30 now. He got hit, he's, he's, he got hit by a, a fucking semi truck and you still came to play? <laughs> It's <laughs> fucked up. It's covered in blood. He's like, it might be too much. Maybe push them a little too hard. He has a concussion. We won't even know if he's bleeding now because every part of him is bleeding. Oh no. 
Oh gosh, I can't watch this. Are they like on stage now? Yeah, they're they're in the competition right now. He's concussed. He just stopped. You're done. Dude. Oh my god! Poor Andrew, man. I know. Does the name Sean Casey mean anything to you? You know of his death? Last month he hanged himself in his apartment. What? He didn't die in a car accident. Sean suffered from anxiety and depression. His mother claims this started during his time as Fletcher's student. So, what do they want? To make sure that Terrence Fletcher is never allowed to do this to another student. Damn. Kicked out of school. I mean, tackled the teacher. Would you characterize his conduct as extreme, Andrew? Did he ever intentionally inflict emotional distress? Yeah, every day. You slap me. That's physical, though. Emotional. He just fucking personal attacks at him. Name calling. I can't believe he got hit by a truck and still went to play. Now he's throwing away all his drum stuff. I hope he runs into Nicole again. You owe that girl an apology, my man. Okay. Terrence Fletcher's here. Go jump him. <laughs> he just didn't rip into anyone with the drum players. Besides... Everyone else was, like, already in the band, though, I feel like. And the, the, the chubby kid. Yeah, I was gonna say, besides him. Also, I feel like the drums are one of the few, like, a lot of the other instruments had, like, multiple people in their yeah. section or whatever you want to call it. Just one drummer. And it's, like, the heart of the band. Andrew. Spotted his ass immediately. I'm not a shaper anymore. Yeah, I, I did hear that. Did you quit? Not exactly. <laughs> you know what happened, dude. Some parents got a kid from Sean Casey's here, I think, to say some things about me. They brought back the JVC Fest this year. They got me opening in a couple of weeks with a pro band. I told you that story about how Charlie Parker became Charlie Parker, right? Joe Jones threw a symbol at his head. Exactly. Like, I get what he was trying to do, but I just feel like his execution was not correct. Yeah, I can't support if some kid developed anxiety and depression from him and killed himself because of it. You can't justify that. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. But is there a line? That's what I'm saying. Maybe you go too far and you discourage the next Charlie Parker from ever becoming Charlie Parker. No, man, no. Because the next Charlie Parker would never be discouraged. The band I'm leading for JVC, my drummer is not cutting it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Oh. There's a position available. I'm using the studio band playlist. You know, Caravan, Whiplash. I need somebody who really knows those charts. <laughs> what about Ryan Connolly? <laughs> Connolly. It was to me was incentive for you. Tanner? Tanner switched to pre-med. <laughs> pre-med. Take the weekend book about it. He'll do it. Surely. I hope he does it and gets, becomes the next Charlie Parker. 
The next Andrew Neiman. Uh huh. I'm really sorry about everything. I know that's not, you know, enough. Anyway, I got. I actually have this show uh, this weekend. It's. Oh no. Project Hell. I was meant to check with my boyfriend. You waited too long, bro. What are you gonna? What are you expecting here, Andrew? He was a good girl. I don't really think he's like jazz music, but yeah, I'm not for everybody. Maybe she's fucking around again though, like how she was the first time, and she'll just show up there. Yeah, I think she is fucking around. Suiting up. Been a long time. Would you want to play for Fletcher again? No. <laughs> He's playing with Fletcher this time, not for him. Isn't he conducting it still, I thought? Oh, I thought he was playing with the band. Maybe not. Maybe, yeah, you might be Because right. if he was playing with the band, I don't think he could just replace the drummer, right? I want him to really, really do good. Get his girl back, get, a, get famous. If you drop the ball, you might be looking for a new line of work. Because the other thing about these cats is they never forget. We all set? Much all different. Right. Let's have fun. Yeah, he is much different. Seems like he toned it back a little bit. A lot. A lot of it. He's not yelling at him. Calling him sea suckers. The crowd's going to be huge, I feel like, whenever they turn the lights on. Alright, relax. Come on, please. There's no way he F's up. Routed on him. Damn. <laughs> Why did he say that now? See if he can still focus, maybe? I'm Terrence Fletcher, and these are some of the best musicians in New York, which means they're some of the best musicians in the world. First, we're going to start out with a new tune by Tim Simonette called Upswinging. Does he know that song? Yeah, I think he's trying to F him over. Oh, we were playing Whiplash from Caravan. Uh, bro. No. Like he said, the people in the crowd will not forget. This guy doesn't know how to play the song. Oh, that's tough. What the fuck are you doing? He's just setting them up. <laughs> Look at him, he's loving it. Oh man, this isn't how I wanted it to go. Yikes. Yeah, I guess maybe you don't have it. <sighs> that man is the devil. Bro, come on. He's not leaving. Uh-uh. Uh, now we're gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm guessing most of you folks have heard of Okay. <laughs> Everyone just needs to start playing with him. Come on, let's Andrew. go. He's doing it himself. He said, "Fuck Fletcher. I don't need him to to conduct this shit." He said, "Fuck, fuck you." you. <laughs> He's not fucking with Fletcher anymore.
Fuck that dude. Let's go. They're doing good. Plays pretty freaking well when he's not bleeding all over his body. Yeah. After being hit by a semi truck. That's gonna take a lot to blow into those things the whole time. Oh my god, yeah. You gotta have crazy lung capacity to play an instrument like that. That's sick. Let's go. This reminds me of that one shot from La La Land, where it's just going back and forth like that. Dude, he's... Neiman's killing it. Look at him, he's feeling himself. Damn. He said, fuck it, I'm not stopping. Lights are off, he's still going. You gotta make up for that first performance, bro. Oh my god. What are you doing, man? I'll kill you. Whiplash? You made this shit, bro. This is what you made. Mm, he's bleeding again. The way he's playing, I'm not surprised. How can he even grip that thing? Jeez. Look at him. Look at him. He's going crazy. Oh my god. Look at his dad, bro. Speechless. Everybody knows what they're watching right now. Even he knows. Dude, this is crazy! It's making me like a bit emotional, like how good he's doing. Going back? We really going back? Can't hit the foot. Oh my god! Just absolute greatness on display. Is he actually doing this? Imagine if Nicole came. She'd have to leave her boyfriend. Chills. Oh my god. Oh, that was good. That would be one of the craziest endings I've seen that in a long time. was such a good time. ending. Holy shit. I mean, how do you even just like... I'm thinking about... Just that scene, it just was like 10 minutes of him, 15 minutes of him just sitting there playing. It was crazy. His dad was watching. That was one of the coolest things I've seen. And he definitely, I feel like, won over Fletcher there at the end. I mean, Fletcher was trying to screw his career up or not, maybe just like make him feel bad for bringing him out there and playing a song that he didn't know at first. But I mean, Neiman took that very well, came out and just probably had one of the best performance of, performances of the world. It was just, that was insane. That was so cool to watch. That was something I feel like we haven't ever watched on the channel. It was so different. Yeah, I, that, that ending was like perfect. Uh, like I was saying, like seeing him in that flow state, just absolute like art. Uh, I was getting like choked up, like, cause it's, I don't know how to describe it. Just seeing him doing so well, 
uh, after the like struggle is a like putting it lightly what he went through this movie he went through hell he went through literal hell uh to achieve this passion and goal of his and just seeing it like come to fruition at the end there and him saying no fuck you i'm not even listening to like your cue i'm doing my own thing i'm not stopping when the band stops like i'm i'm fucking great like you guys are gonna play around me so seeing that i was it was just unbelievable um yeah i just i think like immediately this is like top five top 10 movies i've ever watched honestly like immediately like one of the best movies i've ever seen 100 percent. i was captivated like the whole time just by everything uh it was so intense the story was incredible the um, acting the acting was incredible it's, it just yeah i just no notes like it was just it was perfect honestly this movie to me yeah i mean like i said in the beginning i absolutely love this movie i'd only seen it one one other time and I'm so glad that we got the chance to watch it again because I knew you guys would love it. It's just, it's amazing. It seriously is one of the best movies I've seen, in my opinion. And J.K. Simmons deserved that Oscar. Holy hell. Yeah, he did very good. He was insane in this movie. Like, he's a brilliant actor, but just the, the, the person that he became in this movie specifically was just, I mean, he was a monster. And he just did that so insanely well. Uh, he was he was like in in a near perfect movie. I feel like he was the best part about it, in my, in my opinion. He was just fucking crazy. But I mean, on the other side of it, Miles Teller. Like I said, this is the movie that I saw him in, and I was like, okay, this guy's he is the real deal. Like he he can go and act with the best of the best of them. He I don't know. Watching it again. He was just as good as I remember. The character, Andrew, Neiman. I mean, the journey he went on is just absolutely insane. I, I love how throughout the movie they keep talking about like these great musicians and how there's always a moment where they become who they like are destined to be. And I mean, those last 15 minutes of this movie, like you are literally watching Andrew become one of those people and everybody can tell like i'm even getting chills thinking about it like his dad who has no connection to music just loves supporting his son throughout we you can see the look on his face like his jaw on the floor you can just tell greatness whenever it's in front of you it's just i don't know such such a great movie i, I love it yeah and i think that was one, like one of the faults of uh fletcher's teachings is like yeah, that story they kept bringing up about the symbol being thrown at his head, like he would do shit like that, throw stuff at uh, Andrew and maybe like think that this is the path that you need to go to to be a great. But in reality, everyone's different. You learn different ways. Like we saw he was doing this shit to and like was giving people like depression and leading them to, to killing them, like killing themselves. So um, I, I just think that his as great of a character he was and like how passionate he was about jazz i just think his approach was incorrect and people learn different ways it's not a, like a narrow one-way thing uh you have to tailor to to each individual person obviously personal attacks are not the yeah. not the way to get to someone i get trying to fire someone up but that is just not the way to 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 get someone to, to shape up like that and yeah like everyone's different i think that that was the way for andrew though like to after all those trials and tribulations to then get like he got he fucked him over he was trying yeah. to fuck him over he, he wasn't trying was to trying help to ruin him. his career he told him they were playing the old songs they weren't they were just playing different songs so that was his time to step up that's how it happened um you can say it's like kind of thanks to him to, to, to Fletcher, but I think that's like 90% Andrew. That that was his um, own self doing that. So yeah, I th I think that Andrew was always destined to be great, but it's really hard to say that he would have achieved that in this movie at least without Fletcher. Like I don't agree with the methods that Fletcher did. Obviously, like the physical abuse and the like mental abuse is insane, but it kind of worked in a way for Andrew specifically, like you said. Um, so it, it's just a kind of a conflict at the end. Like, is it worth it? Probably not. 
but Andrew might not have been able to a- accomplish his dream without Fletcher at the end of the day. It was worth it for the other guy, Sean, whoever, but like he went to a very big uh, band or orchestra or something and he got the first string and he still didn't really satisfy him. He still had anxiety from what Fletcher put him through. So like, I don't know. Yeah, I think they did say though that it started with Fletcher. So like Fletcher kind of gave him that anxiety and depression and it probably stood like stuck with him for the rest of his life, which is just really sad. But I'm sure that Fletcher did that to more than just those two kids. Like, I mean, we saw the way that he he taught. There's definitely more people that he abused and he definitely should not be a teacher. He might be some musical genius or whatever, but he is he should not be teaching kids. Yeah, but I I also think that's like a common theme, like not just amongst musicians, but like other people as well that are great at their respective crafts. But even in this movie, they reference like that that person that he kept bringing up that was dead at 34 because of drugs and yeah. overdose and stuff and uh i just think that like when you are so great you, you have to torture yourself and go through the most shit like they i think that tortured musician is like a, a saying or something so tortured artist it's like you're achieving this greatness but like at what cost pretty much and it's like it's very tricky um but for the sake of the movie i'm glad andrew ended up where he did and i you can only like imagine what he goes on to do hopefully just straight greatness no no more struggles i'm sure there will be but yeah uh, hopefully he, he has like the best career in life all right guys that's pretty much it though for this movie if you guys did enjoy please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our p.o box we yeah, will catch you guys next time in our next movie reaction peace out